I probably have to go with Sister Rose too. <laughs> I'm looking at my notes on her. Like, yeah, I I think that was probably up there. Yeah. Yeah. The Mother Teresa of Uganda, as as she was described to me several times. So Yeah, I, my favorite part was like she actually took in young women and helped them start their own businesses. That's right. That that is pretty cool to me. And then not just the poor, but like every part of society that was marginalized whether it be like disease or sexual or anything that had you marginalized she had no care in the world you're a human being to her yeah i mean i think that to me was also a big takeaway from her because i i knew she had done a lot of work with the poor but this phrase i use in the book that working with the people without people uh, that really stayed right. with me and I because it really is a more capacious idea it, for sure she worked with the materially destitute but as you noted whether it was victims of sexual abuse or the abandoned children of clergy or people with drug addictions or even wealthy kids who flunked out of school and had no way forward uh, and just this you know in East Africa relationship is so important and if you're cut out from your family and those broader social ties, you really are alone. Uh, and that's in many ways even worse than being poor. Uh, and so to me, she really tried to recreate this, these networks and uh, the social bondedness among folks who maybe had been left out in the margins. So yeah, I think you're right that she had a, a capacious sense of that. And I think that's something that Christians and other people of goodwill around the world could really learn from, so. Exactly.